it's time to take a journey with Snow White and the Magic Mirror. Mirror, mirror, I command, who's the fairest in the land, darling? And now, presenting the off-the-wall character, the mirror with the Moses, your reflection in mine, me! Once upon a time in a small kingdom, there lived a pretty young girl by the name of Snow White. I'm here, stepmother. You wanted to see me? She lived in a castle with her not-so-pretty stepmother, the Evil Queen. The Evil Queen was jealous of anyone more attractive than she, and constantly pestered the magic mirror with the same old question. Mirror, mirror, I command, who's the fairest in the land, darling? Snow White is tops. The evil queen summoned Lenny, the royal butcher. Butcher! Butcher! Come here! Uh, uh, you, you, you called, your highness? I want you to take my beautiful stepdaughter into the woods and get rid of her. And remember... I'll be watching on my magic mirror. Psst, Snow White, the Queen sent me here to get rid of you. But Lenny just couldn't harm Snow White. What do you want me to do? He told her of the Queen's plans and urged her to disappear into the forest, wondering all the while what the Queen saw in her magic mirror. He needn't have worried. Back at the castle, the queen was getting lousy reception. I'll have a Weston Bacon Queenie Burger, uh, but hold the pickles, please. <gasps> and now, a word from our sponsor. What? You want it your way, there's the doorway. You'll have it our way, or not at all, at Burger Queen. Yeehaw! And now, back to our program. So the evil queen didn't see Snow White run into the forest, and Lenny never told her what he'd done. Deep in the woods, Snow White came upon a charming little cottage in the trees. What luck! I can stay here. So she helped herself to some pie, went upstairs, and fell asleep in the most comfortable of the seven little beds. The seven dwarves were surprised to find someone had been in their home and eaten their food. Not Goldilocks again! They went upstairs and found Snow White. And that's when the beautiful princess met the seven dwarves. The evil queen is trying to get rid of me. Snow White told them all about the evil queen and why she'd run away. Hey, Snow, do you know how to cook and clean or what? If you let me stay here, I'll cook and clean for you. Are you a good cook? Not really. But the princess was nice, so they let her stay. Meanwhile, back in her room, the evil queen was ready to celebrate. Tell me, Mira, now who is the fairest in the land? And still at number one, it's Snow White. As the dwarves were leaving for work the next morning, they warned Snow White to keep an eye out for the evil queen. Hey, why is everybody trying to hurt you? She promised not to let anyone in the house. <laughs> 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 
What is that foul stench? So Snow White began her baking. Is that two cups of flour or eleven? Hmm. Maybe I used too much yeast. There are seven dwarves to feed. Better double the recipe and use fourteen. To rid herself of Snow White, the evil queen prepared a poisoned apple and went to the dwarves' house in disguise. A poisoned apple a day keeps Snow White away. <laughs> really? For me? Snow White was feeling pretty hungry. She took a bite of the poisoned apple. Here's your candy apple, Graham. <laughs> Just bite into it, my pretty, or there's a surprise message inside. Why, that's the lovely girl I saw baking bread. That night, the dwarves returned home to find Snow White on the floor. The queen did this to her because she was so pretty. So they put her in a glass case, hoping a handsome prince might ride by someday, see her, and rescue her. It looks like she's fallen and she can't get up. A handsome prince was riding by on his trusty horse. He hurried over to Snow White and kissed her. Hey, Snow, babe, this is happening. It's grooving. Fancy meeting you here, man. At the prince's castle, they were married in an exquisite ceremony. The seven dwarves were guests of honor. And they all lived happily ever after. No! I'm the fairest in the land! <laughs> Even the evil queen, who was the only one left in her kingdom, and hence the fairest in the land. But she was lonely. Oh, love is great. Love is grand. It's getting late, so give me a hand. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I would very much appreciate it.